everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit the like button, the <coughs> notification bell, so you know when the next interview is going to go live. And please subscribe to the channel and help me out. Without further ado, I've got rock legend Jack Russell. How are you doing today, Jack? I'm fantastic as every day. <laughs> uh, I, I got to tell you, um, I've heard through the grapevine and I've seen some recent interviews about your health. And I, and I can't believe um, how great you look and how healthy you are. Um, I listened to um, Tell Me Why. And if that's your voice, I'm telling you, you've uh, you've like, you probably lost 20 years in your voice. I mean, it sounds so strong and incredible. What, what do you attribute that to? You know, it's just a lot of years of uh, keeping my act together. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's not drinking and not smoking. Um, I just try to take care of myself as much as I can. I've been, I warm up, you know, I, I have a, a really, 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 um, methodical re regimen, um, that I use to warm my voice up. It starts six hours before the show time and I'll do it in increments of 10 minutes, but every so often, like every hour and a half, I'll do a little 10 minutes and another hour and a half, I'll do another 10 minutes and it just goes like that for the day. And then right before the show. I'll do a half an hour, you know, and then 10 minutes later, I walk on stage. And then I warm down afterwards. Right. Is is that um, something have to do with, I, I think I wrote, I read something that um, you're taking some vocal lessons. I'm sure, obviously, you know how to sing. That's how you've made your history and legendary um, status. But uh, did you start taking vocal lessons to keep your voice strong and sharp because you you know as, as we age every muscle in our body it's is needing some toning and repairing if that's fair absolutely to. yeah and you know you got you got to exercise it you know what i mean uh if you don't exercise your voice you know it's just like any other muscle it's gonna atrophy you know so you know i sing a lot um you know um i warm up like i said uh relentlessly you know and um, so far, so good, you know. Did I ever drive your wife out of the room and saying enough with the humming, uh, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see the look she just made. I can imagine. <laughs> I wish I um, could have got a, I wish I could have took a picture of that real quick. No, you know I think it? we got it. We get the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It suffices to say she agrees with you. <laughs> So with this album with Tracy Guns, um, I understand that you were just so. The obviously the songwriting is Russell Guns, but I so is it. He sent you all the information uh, instrumentally, and all you had to put was lyrics to it. Is that fair to say? No, <laughs> no, 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 completely off base. This oh. is the way this went down. The label came up to me and they said, "Hey, we're doing a record with Tracy on guitar. Do you want to sing vocals?" Oh, I said, okay. sure. And the songs were written by a guy named um, Alessandro Del Vecchio. I was going to ask you about him. Yeah, yeah. He's a keyboard player. He's also a songwriter and does a lot of work with uh, Frontiers. And so he basically wrote the record and we just came in and did the songs. I was definitely thinking there was a Frontiers kind of a label aspect to it. And then I really was going to ask you about um, Alessandro Alessandro Delvecchio because his name keeps popping up every time. Like I read press releases or I read interviews, his name is um, is right there. Um, so how did you get to know Alessandro, or did you know him previously before? Um, no, I knew him from the label. I know him from the label. <laughs> what kind of guy is he? Obviously, he's a really nice guy. Super nice guy. Captain Jack, is that a shark no, or a whale or is it a cow? No, it's a shark. It's, 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 it's a dog with uh, a, 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 a shark fin. What, um, shark where are they native to? Russell. Your place? <laughs> the dog shark is native only in Jack Russell's living room. Where where are they native to? Just your place? No, they, this is uh, the, the dogs. 
Yeah, well, the jog with the shark fin. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that's think how bad of a comedian I am. I have to tell you when the punchline is. So keep listening. No, I, I'm just slow. I'm just, I've been up really early. <laughs> so, so. That's right. You're, um, is it about no, noon? I might be asleep. Is it about noon your place or 11? It's uh, noon, noon 07. Okay, so you're in the you're on you're on the west coast, obviously. Mm -mm. Close on mountain time. Oh, mountain time. Okay, well, it's west of me, so I was half right. West of you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, is there going to be any kind of um? I know that this is if this is coming from the label, it's maybe not in the uh, plans for any kind of tour to support the album, but um. Since you and Tracy are friends, is there a chance that maybe you'll uh, pick up somewhere in the uh, um, future and play a few of those songs together, or is that to be determined? You know, yeah, to be determined. I mean, you know, because, uh, you know, my bands, we have a, a tour this year, too, and I'm not going to put, put, put a, you know, a side project before my real band. I mean, they got to make a living, too, you know? Fair to say, fair to say. And you're working on uh, um, a new album for the, the band. What? Um, how much of the songwriting is done, and um, when should uh, should we get it by the summer? You think, spring? Um, you know, not this summer because we're gonna be too busy uh, sure. playing to to be recording. Really, um, I've still got to finish writing the second half of it. So you know, we're 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 getting there. We're getting there. So you know, at least it's something I could say it it will be out. You know, I'm not sure when, but it will be. And won't be another seven years. Yeah, well, but seven years really flies, though. I mean, to be honest with you. Um, so how long has it been? The way I say, I say that without not even really checking my my facts. We put the last one out in two thousand seventeen. Seven years. Yeah, there's yeah, seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a good, good guess. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's your guess and your intuition. So. Um, do you have anybody you're thinking of bringing on that album as a, as a guest appearance or a cameo, or is it just going to be you and your group? Uh, so far, just me and the guys, as far as I know, unless something happens that uh, I'm unaware of. Um, <laughs> well, I was just thinking... <laughs> okay, that, happens, that, happens, that happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and Who your wife will attest to that. I see your shadow in the background. <laughs> yeah, right. So um, when do you go back on the road with uh, Gray White? We uh, have shows coming up next coming weekend. So this are you, coming are you weekend. doing um, weekend shows primarily at this point, or you yeah. can load on? Um, okay, so that's yeah. kind of um, that's kind of um, where a lot of the bands are going because it's hard to make a, a go of traveling across the country and playing midweek shows. So yeah, weekends would make sense. Um, I was going to ask you something, but I forgot about it. Uh, okay, I forgot, I forgot the answer. <laughs> so oh i know i asked you this before but i've got a lot more subscribers since who would your favorite canadian band or artist be i'll tell you what let me just give you a quick answer that like this oh the dwarfs yes sir oh man they're gonna Thank be happy you. to see this yeah the killer Ooh, dwarfs uh -huh. Actually, um, pro shit, man. probably my favorite uh, Canadian. I'm in Canada, obviously, but I really think the Killer Dwarfs were uh, so underrated, unappreciated. Oh, but, way. But they're still moving. They're still kicking with, uh, I mean, they're still, uh, I think they're about to release an album this year, to be honest with you. I think they're with... Yeah, they're a great band, man. They really are. They're great guys. Yeah. Yeah. Russ and his Super good the guys. Um, Russ is just an amazing dude. Yeah. Um, Rob's great. I mean, it is the whole band is just full of superstars. If you have, in my opinion, I mean, oh, yeah. I think, and it's got one one element USA with Daryl Miller from uh, Buffalo. I believe he's there. he's from Buffalo. Yeah, the drummer. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing. Uh, maybe humming a few bars for your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dirty weapons. <laughs> I'll put the links below so everybody can check out uh, uh, where to get the Russell Guns um, um, album, Medusa. There's some videos out on YouTube. Tell me why. It's really good. If you want to take a listen and see how strong Jack's voice is, 
check that song out. You'll know within uh, the first bar. Um, as well, I'll put links to uh, your website, Jack, so that uh, people can go yeah, out to great. tour. That'd be great. Thank you. No problem. So what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Uh, the what now? The opposite of unsubscribe. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> Everybody do is Jack Russell. The legend says subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys go out and get the new Medusa album. Thanks, Jack. Hey, thank you very much for having me, man. It's good, good, good to see you on a big screen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much to you both. Thank you very much, man. Say hi to the... Say hi to the to the uh, to the Medusa dwarf, dwarf guys. Oh, the dwarf guys. Yeah, they, I'll uh, probably send this to them. They'll see it. Yep. All right, on cool, awesome. All right, thanks again, man. Thanks for thanks, the help with promotion. Bye. All right, man. God bless you, brother. You too.